you're out there, you're riding, you're having a good time and uh, taking in the, the outdoors. The fight isn't over. The fight is just beginning. What's going on guys? This is Carl with the Racer Red Channel. So I wanted to talk to you guys about SWM motorcycles today, which is kind of an up and coming company. I wouldn't say up and coming, but it's kind of one of the smaller ones around and a lot of the big magazines have done reviews on them recently. And they've been around since 1971. But in 2014, KTM purchased Hus Husqvarna and Husky sold their factory in Italy to SWM. And with that, they sold the tooling rights and all that stuff to SWM. And that is what they use today to make the SWM brand for the most part. They make minor adjustments to their bikes. The base bike that you're buying is basically a 2014 or older Husqvarna. Their biggest selling point is the fact that they are way less money than a KTM or a Husky. And they really capitalize on that Italian made branding that they put on their bikes. In fact, that's a big strategic reason why they keep that factory or why they bought that factory in Italy. The SWM is a pretty solid bike as far as the hardware on it. They don't really have an innovative new design as far as their motorcycles go. So although some of it is unique to the SWM brand, they use mostly stuff that's already been made. And so you're getting an old bike basically. The bottom line is you're buying a new old bike. From my experience with this uh, brand, I rode the 600cc Touring model. It is very slow revving, just like an older bike usually is. They, they are slow to rev and they, they kind of stumble up through the RPMs. But they have Brembo brakes and other high quality components. So, yeah, like I said, the hardware on this on the SWMs are good. One of the problems I see with SWM, though, is that a lot of that stuff is frankenstein Not completely frankenstein It's not like some mechanic kind of pieced things together in his shop or something like that. But there are a lot of things that were kind of pieced together. Not really thought through enough, in my opinion. For example, when they made their 600cc bike, they basically just bored out the 450. The problem with that is if you don't make a 600 from scratch, you're not making everything to withstand the heat. That includes the radiator system and all that, the coolant system. So you have a bike that tends to overheat, which is the case with that 600. They are a lot less expensive than a KTM or a Husky, but there's a big butt there. <laughs> you're getting the discount because you're basically buying an, an old, a new old bike. And not only that, you're sacrificing your dealer support system. And that's one of the biggest reasons not to buy an SWM for me. And from what I've seen, it's actually my dad that owns this bike. And he's tried to get a couple things done and it's just, from what I can see, it, it looks like terrible dealer support. There's no real dealer around. So you have to decide if the savings is worth that. If it's worth getting an old bike, for one, a somewhat Frankenstein bike too and a bike that has no dealer support 
unless you do in your state but over here there's around here there's nothing i mean in idaho as far as i know there's there's really no dealer support whatsoever they should be able to order aftermarket parts for you as well all that stuff goes through the dealer a lot of times and in this case there's there are no uh aftermarket parts really for these swms there's there's very few i'll put it that way like an exhaust if you go out and try to find an aftermarket exhaust for your bike aero is pretty much it and it's really expensive for an aero exhaust so this is the customer experience when you buy an swm and i just can't see the the brand lasting that long the cost savings just aren't worth it you, you're saving probably 30 percent from a ktm to an swm however what you sacrifice is way too much i would much rather buy a japanese bike like a dr a drz 650 or pretty much anything than an swm and that that's really bashing the company i know but that's just how it is that's kind of a negative outlook on the company and it, it just it's just a truthful review i know that's bashing them pretty hardcore but uh there's just it doesn't make sense to buy one you could go with pretty much any other brand and even the the other small brands are kind of sketchy even like a beta as far as dealer support and getting aftermarket parts is about as much of a hassle as i want to go through um and don't get me wrong it's you know dealer support and uh, aftermarket parts for betas it's not hard to find that stuff but it's harder to find it than it is uh, if you have a ktm so you have ktm you drop down a little bit beta then you drop down a little bit maybe you have gas gas or Sherco. you get harder and harder to find aftermarket parts and dealer support then you have swm a mile below that where there's just nothing you're on an island out there you don't even have a paddle boat your bike breaks down you best be looking at the salvage yard for uh 2014 husqvarna of some sort and then even then i don't know because they they frankenstein so many parts on those bikes that it's not going to be a direct match a lot of times anyways guys i probably deterred a lot of you away from purchasing but do your own research i mean i'm i'm not the end of the line as far as opinions you can definitely do your own research call around and i would say if you have an swm dealer in your area call that dealership walk in there see if they can get parts see if they'll help you with issues with your bike especially simple issues like um your gearing like if you if you need a counter shaft or a rear sprocket for your bike make sure they can get that stuff those are things that you'll need uh, most likely within the first year you'll need something like that anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video i'm just out here exploring around a little bit it's kind of hard to get around with all this mud and snow the slickness but i wanted to put some miles on the beta i'm actually going to do an oil change on it probably so i will catch you on the next video peace